Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. Now, when we began season two, everything that, hold on, people are standing over me and I don't know what the fuck is going on. Never mind. You guys saw the last episode. This is the new episode. Everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? I'm not working you for anyone. Put her Let me go. out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a doctor. Oh shit! Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard that. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody, just calm down for a second. Yeah, everybody, calm the okay? fuck down. I just need a doctor, and then and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here. Okay, he'll have a look. Now, Good. What the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about Okay, this? there's so many Let freaking people right now. I'm getting anxiety. <gasps> Who the hell is this Pablo Escobar looking ass? <sighs> well, you want me to shake your hand? I don't know where that hand's been. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Oh, he's a doctor, so that makes it okay. He's still a stranger, though. And this is my cut. Damn, that must have hurt. Damn. That's savage right there. That's a real battle wound. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. Psh, you telling me? This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> Whoa. I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It didn't work for Lee. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. Who will you it's appeal crazy. to? No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her. Let's life. talk to Luke. Then what? How would we know it worked? You're in charge just around here. You want to be sure, right? Let's give him the sad eyes. The. Please, please. Oh, I'm Clem! I had sad eyes in that. No need for a guilt trip. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. Yeah, stay inside. Who the fuck are you? I have a feeling I'm gonna hate this girl already. Let me go. Help me and I'll leave. Yeah, help me and I'll leave. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again. I promise. And where exactly would you go? Away from you freaks. Somewhere else. My friend is out there. Yeah, Krista's out there. To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells me she's telling the truth. It probably is just a dog bite. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. Wait, 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 wait. Lock me in the shed. Hold on, I am not what a farm tool. It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by with it. Please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. Oh, that guy's bitch made, I can already tell. On a lurker bite. Turns out you're telling the truth. I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... Thanks, asshole. You're gonna let a little girl suffer in I'm a not. shed? That's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's alright. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. Wow. Thanks for the welcoming party. I don't like these guys already. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. Yeah, I hear you. I like this guy, though. This Luke guy. He seems like he's honest and he'll help us out. Maybe you could let me go? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Damn it. Thought you would help me out. I thought we were buddies. Thought we had a connection when you were carrying me. Come on, give her the sad eyes again. Give him the... Alright, never mind. The gun is ready. 
It looks like it's floating. What the fuck was that? Come on, Luke. Give him the sad eyes, Clem. There you go. She almost did it. Just a little sliver of the sad eyes. She was like, Why are we doing this? Please? Fucking no. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, <sighs> Just hang in there, Clem. I can't believe this. Be strong. Lee taught you well. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Yup. Exactly. Here, we're gonna find a way to cope with all this shit. Yeah, just look at that. Don't put your arm in the vise. We are not chopping anybody's arm off today. No tools. No problemo. Not much left in here. What's that? I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Oh no, are we gonna do our own stitches? Fook me. No, we're getting out of here. We're getting the fuck out of here, man. No, oh, never mind. I spoke prematurely. It's a nice anchor. Most beautiful anchor I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm, I'd be the same thing. I'd be like, huh? Eh, whatever. So what else we got over here? So there has to be something we could do with this board. Well, we can't take it out because there's nails right in that thing. Hammer! Oh, see, you made it worse. It's okay, we got this. We are just gonna do, um, something. We're gonna do something. That's what we're gonna do. And bada bing, bada boom. Clem, me and you are a great team up top. <coughs> Shit. Nope. Okay. It's all right. Nobody was there to see that. Except me and everybody else watching, so... You didn't embarrass yourself that hard. At least we got the hammer. Now, let's get the fuck away from these freaks, Clem. They wanted to do nasty things to you. I think they wanted to just let you sit here while you're all fucked up. Like your arm is all bitten. All scratched up. Oh, cute. There we go. Boo! Don't stop too loud. They might hear you. What if that guy with the gun's outside? Then you're really screwed. Nice. They have a doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. Oh boy. I guess we gotta be very sneaky. Sneaky Jay is back in the built-in. Don't worry, Clem. We're gonna find a way into the cabin and obtain a needle, peroxide, and some bandages. Oh yeah. You just gotta stay low. Don't make any noise. And let's open the window. Come on. Nope. Oh, Walker over there. Don't worry. He didn't see you. This is like the worst way to get in. It's okay. We're sneaky, Jay, though. We can do this. Nope. No. I think it's getting worse. I'm sorry. Let me find a way. I'll stop being a fuck. Damn, there's a lot of windows around here. Nope. Too short. Short problems. Hashtag not relatable. Yeah, you're not getting in there. Who you kidding? There we go. Plywood. We have a hammer. It's gonna be all right. Okay, not bad. Taking out the nail skill on point.
When somebody's not bandaging up her stitches, she says, fuck that, I'm gonna do it myself. She waits for no man. Clem is an independent woman. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Like what? Hmm. Q and fuck. Why did I do that? Oh no, it worked. Already made my decision. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Should we peek now? Coast is clear. All right. Let's listen in. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. They got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in shit. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just going to give them the Yeah. Forget that. They're conversing right now. Now it's time to do our thing. I think all the amigos are over there. So we should be pretty much good to go. Wait, I can't go in there. Uh, here? You're good, Clem. Alrighty. All right, thank you. Duck. Oh, duck. Duck, duck, duck. Ducky, ducky, duck. Whoa. Who's that? Oh shit, are they done? Wait. Uh. Nope, you can't go this way. There we go. Wait, that's where I came from. Where do I go? Wait, there's a t thing on the table. Oh, upstairs. I didn't even see that. Wait. There we go. It's so dark, I can't see shit. I apologize, guys. I thought I was a better sneaky person than this. Be very, very quiet, Clem. Oh, you're being so loud. Can the floors creak any harder? Shit. God damn. Whoa! Jeez. Shh. You're not supposed to be in here. Well, shut your damn mouth. Can you help me? Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Well, what Papa don't know won't hurt him. What are you reading? A book? Let's get what on our book? good side. I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. The Gurgles? Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. Hurts like shit. Now help me out. I could die if I don't take care of it. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it with. Bandages. And I need to sew some of it up. It's too deep. My dad says we're out of real bandages. But I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. Help me, please. I'll help you. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're already I'm ten times better than Duck. I'm Clementine. I'm Clementine. 
We're friends, right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. Sure. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Yes, we're friends. Okay. I just met you, we're not friends. What a salve! We're friends, though. We need to get the bandages. before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be so cool. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each promise. other no matter what. I pinky promise. I promise. Cross my heart Me and too. you know I the rest. Oh god, she wants the pinky. We gotta give her the pinky, guys. Alright, everybody right now, pinky's out. We pinky swearing this motherfucker right now. Come on, you gotta loop, swoop, and pull that pinky. Just gotta give it a little of this. There the you pinky go. Pinky swears forever. Yeah, pretty much. I'll pinky see if swears I can find forever. Stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. Thank you. Thank you, friend. You're the best friend. Better than Duck. Oh, Duck. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Oh, she told you to shut that ass up. You need a needle and bandages. I'm on it. I am on it. I'm gonna make sure Clem gets patched up. Don't worry. There you go. Sewing needle. My mom used to have that same exact thing where you put all the pins it's in, clean. that little ball. I knew that was a sewing thing the moment I saw it. I'll still need some bandages, though. Don't worry. We got it, Clem. Just keep your head up. Not there. I'm pretty sure everything is in like different rooms. Yeah. I have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. I think I know where it is. There was another room at the end of the hall. That man sometimes. <laughs> Please don't take a shit. Please don't take a fast, stinky shit. Damn it. Oh, God. She's gonna take that Taco Bell shit. Just need to have this baby. <laughs> that was her, not me. Let it be okay. Let it be his. Let it be his? Oh, and damn. Thought alert. Ho in the building. She said let it be his, so she doesn't even know that it might be some other guy. Damn. Is she getting passed around like a good blunt right now? Let it be his. Those were her words, not mine. I'm just giving my analysis of the situation. Let it be his. Girl. You might have two daddies. Two baby daddies. Two baby daddies is too much. That's the saying. And I think the bandages... Are it's gotta be in here. Ooh. Board game. What is this? What is this fuckery? I would never play that board game. Shit looks boring as hell. Oh. <laughs> Okay. No, They're exactly rags. Bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Beggars can't be choosers. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ooh, a watch? Nope. From what I remember from season one, Clem is a good girl that does not steal things from other people. Karma always comes back to you. It always finds its way back around. Good and bad. Clem would never steal stuff. That's why I respect her. Let's get out of here. Is there anything down here? Nope. It's a dead end. So now, we just gotta be very, very sneaky. I can't even see what's going on. Wait, should we talk to Sarah? Never mind, we're already walking down the stairs. Don't be loud, don't be loud, don't be loud. Alright, you're creaking very loud. 
Jeez, those are the loudest creaks in the history of creaks. Uh, we're almost out of here. Yes! Let's go! Good shit, Clem! Let's get the hell out of here. Stop. I'm just happy for Clem. She is such a badass. Don't tell me we're gonna have to do this ourselves. Oh shit. I think we are. Oh, I'm ready though. I am so ready for this moment. When I played the game South Park, I gave an abortion to another this man out of his asshole. I'm ready for this. First, we gotta put the peroxide. I think. Do we have to wipe it first or the peroxide? No, I think the peroxide first. Ooh! It's good though, it's good. When it burns, that means it's healing, I think. Okay. Okay, I'm good. You good? I'm fine. You Gucci, girl, you Gucci. Now the fun part. Oh yeah, just like Disneyland. It's gonna be just like Space Mountain. It's gonna be so fun, Clem. Just pretend you're on, uh... It's a small world. It's a small world after... Oh, we do this? Man, those are impossible to do in one try. Just like last time. Just how Crystal showed me. Oh, I mean, I gotta put it in too, really? Oh, jeez, what the fuck? Okay, man, the fuck up, let's go! Let's do this shit! Do you wanna be better or what, Clem? Oh, pull that bitch! Ugh. This reminds me of when I got my wisdom teeth pulled out and he was putting in my stitches in my gums. I could feel him tugging on the freaking thread. Like, on the, of the stitches. Ugh. I could feel everything. So I know how she feels right now. Ugh. You're okay. You're okay. Ah, man. She is such a fucking badass. My god. You want me to do one more? I got you. Let's do this. Pull it. Boom. Got it. Precision skills on fleek. Ugh. I think I'm cringing at like the out of place uh, textures. <laughs> Instead of cringing at the sewing. One more? Great. It's never ending. Got it, got it, got it. Ooh. That flesh flapping around. <laughs> Give me the heebie jeebies. We're good. Looks good. Better than any doctor. What a freaking boss. I salute you. Whoa! Whoa! Shit! Get the hammer! Oh yeah. Oh no. God, get on me! Rake! Get the rake! Get off me, you freak! Kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him! Kill! Come on, bitch! Fuck you! this it's a brick yes uh. one more for the homie screw bah! Uh, get the rake son of a bitch fuck you nope not today 
Not today, mother sucker! Oh yeah, hammer time! It's motherfucking hammer time! Oh, you want some more? Bah! Oh, you're not finished? Ah! Oh, you actually like it? Ah! That's what you get when you mess with the boss. Holy shit. What the... How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. Yeah, so don't even start, miss. It. Let it be his. It could be his. And I'll take a look it at could be the old guy. It could be the two dudes with long hair. I don't know. It could be all of them. It could be every single you one. Hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. I want a Big Mac. And I'm not going to talk to you, though, because you're an asshole. Yeah, you did this to me. Talking about, can we trust her? But she's saying in the bathroom, oh, let it be his. Shh. Shh. Don't talk. Worry about your own damn problems, miss. Thank you. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Why is he mad, though? St storming off like a little girl. He's like, man, I wanted it to be a lurker bite. He's freaking stomping off like this. What's that dude's problem, man? He needs to take out that stick out of I his ass. I you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt and you weren't helping. I was hurt and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Well, the bite could have gotten Maybe infected. You still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. That's true. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what is really like out there, she would cease to function. She's oh. my little girl. She's all I have left. And I would ask that you stay away from her. I get it. I get it. So basically, he's shielding her from the world. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Yeah. I see what he's doing to her. He basically doesn't want her to know that the world out there hey, is uh, fucked up. Some food if you're hungry. I mean, you can't blame him though. Cuz the world out there full of walkers, full of death, full of zombies, full of guts and blood, people, everybody dying. Hell of scar. I'd shield a kid from that world too, but Clem is just the exception. She's a badass. It doesn't bother me. What a sav. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. Wow. Nice. Apologize. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of yeah. aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Definitely Nick's not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. What happened? Let's be relatable. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I, 
It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. Bad things happen to everyone. I do. I do. Yeah. That's why in games I try not to be mean to other people because they all have backstories of some fucked up things that happen to them. I even do that in real life. I, so, I'm always nice to people no matter what. I try to be. Own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Maybe stay here. Moving on. I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents left and never came back. I tried to find my parents. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Lee. Oh my god, the feels. Lee. I love Lee. This man. The Legion. Found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. I ran away. The same thing that happens to everyone. The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. The best. Yeah. The best. He was. I wish he was alive, like somehow, like- I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, cause we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? Like I was saying though, I'm hoping that in some weird ass twist, Lee is alive. But at the end of season one, oh, we had Clem shoot here. him. Oh my, missed thought, please. Don't even start. What is she gonna say now? Is she gonna think Clem's the baby daddy? I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Whose baby is it? Let's fucking go! Whose baby is it? <laughs> Excuse me? Guys. If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? Got it. Shut your fucking mouth. Oh shit! I won't tell. Don't talk to me like that. I won't tell. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. Hey, you're a fucking problem. You came here for. Now go. Why is she so rude? Is it the pregnancy? Is it the mood swings? Is it the hormones? Is it all three? What the fuck? Okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Like I was saying before, though, I'm hoping that in some weird ass twist, 
Lee would come back, but that's pretty much unlikely at this point because we had Clementine shoot him at the end of season one. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more of The Walking Dead season two, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, dude! <laughs>